So this is Rojas Mustache. And this thing right here is one of my fragrances for life, YSL Tuxedo. I got so many comments saying, you gotta buy Rojas Mustache because this is apparently super close to Tuxedo. So I'm hoping two things. Number one, that this will smell absolutely fantastic. Number two, it would be even more fantastic if it actually is quite close to Tuxedo. This is a first impressions of Rojas Mustache though, and not a comparison. If you would like me to do a proper comparison of these two, then let me know in the comments and drop a like on this video. Let's do this. Some of the notes in Rojas Mustache are Mandarin Orange and Pink Pepper. Then we have Bulgarian Rose and Atlas Cedar. And at the base we have Benzoin, Vanilla and Patchouli. So before I begin, I would absolutely love to know how you feel about Rojas Mustache. Is it a like, is it a dislike, or do you love it? This will be interesting for sure. So many good things I heard about this. Okay, let's see how it behaves on skin. Okay, this is intensely citrusy first. Yeah, that was quite a prominent dose of something sort of a juicy, citrusy, in the opening and I, I i don't love the opening but i quite like it this is like a citrusy fresh and spicy fresh opening and you really can't go wrong with the opening it's not just citrusy and spicy fresh there's something else in the opening as well maybe like a hint of something sweet or fruity sweet something like that no idea exactly what it is, if it's the mandarin orange giving off that vibe, but this is like a citrusy fresh, spicy fresh, and slightly, slightly sweet opening. And as this heads into the mids, I do feel that it sort of quite rapidly goes from being sort of a citrusy and spicy fresh to something that is a bit more woody with a slight hint of something floral underneath it. I do enjoy that initial burst of freshness and slight hint of sweetness. However, I'm not in love with that opening. The opening is quite inoffensive and quite likable, but I, there's nothing in it that makes me go, wow, this is something crazy unique or anything like that. But the opening is definitely a nice one. The mids, however, is where I feel this gets a lot more interesting and that it starts to get sort of a more personality to it. And this goes from being something that is primarily citrusy and spicy fresh with a bit of sweetness to something that I feel, at least based on this first impression, is primarily woody and vanillic. So even though the nose stated that this is, the vanilla is in the base, I do get it sort of in the mids. The rose is definitely right there in the mids. However, this is, how am I going to describe this? This is not the purest of rose. And I also don't feel this is the most intense dose of rose. This is like rose in the background behind its woodiness and behind that vanilla. Adding a bit of a twist, adding a nice and quite sexy dose of contrast to it all. So the mids is basically woody, vanillic, and floral, where the rose is definitely there, but if I compare the rose here to more, to my other fragrances that has, to a lot of my other fragrances that have rose in them, I don't feel this is an overly intense, super prominent dose of rose. And the mids is where I feel, if I compare the mids to the opening, the mids is where I feel I'm starting to get tuxedo vibes. I, I, I can't say I picked up on that strong tuxedo vibes in the opening, but definitely as a mustache starts to head into the mids and slowly starts to sort of go into the dry down, this definitely has tuxedo vibes and I like it. The dry down is almost like an extension of the mids in that I feel this gets even more vanillic, it gets even more intensely woody, and the rose is still there in the sort of a background, adding a really nice and quite sexy contrast to it all. With one difference though, this weren't this ambery in the mids. So when this starts to really dry down, it gets quite ambery. And 
Here's the thing, in the dry down of mustache, I'm not sure what it is, if it's the benzoin or whatever it is. There's something fruity, fruity, sweet, or at least sweet. It's not a big dose of sweetness. And yeah, the more I sniff my hand, the more this dries down, the more I like it. So the first burst is definitely a nice one but honestly i was not blown away by the opening when it goes from the opening through to the mids it definitely becomes a lot more interesting but still i'm not sort of a blown away but that part was really where i felt things got a lot more interesting a lot more exciting definitely a lot more sexy however the dry down is absolutely the best part of mustache. So here are my initial thoughts on compliments and mass appeal. This, when it dries down, I mean, the opening, most people will think it smells good. Uh, I doubt the opening will blow anyone away. Same thing with the mids, even though the mids is a lot more likable and a lot sexier. The dry down, however, is definitely something that will not only get attention, but most likely compliments. So here are my initial thoughts on usage. So like occasions, seasons, versatility, stuff like that. This is not as versatile as let's say Y or the Parfum or like a Freshy, but I do not feel this is too heavy in any way. I think this is quite well balanced, much like I feel Tuxedo is. So while this is not perhaps something you spray on on the warmest of days, this will most likely develop, much like Tuxedo, in a fantastic way for with a bit of warmth. So like summer nighters for sure. But with that said, this is primarily like uh, spring fall and winter scent, but you can definitely use it on summer night house. As for occasions, I do feel that you can use this to both formal and sort of a casual occasions. Wear this to work if you want. Wear it when you are going out or when you are going on a date. It, however, leans slightly more towards something casual, and I do feel that this is a perfect date night or going outside. So when it comes to performance, I really don't know. I need to wear it more. Based on how it sort of oozes off my skin and how it stays up in the air around me, I don't think this is a weak fragrance. This is probably something that is slightly sort of above average, but definitely not something that I feel is beast mode. And I really gotta compare this like side by side with, the, with Tuxedo. However, based on this first impression, this might actually be slightly, I'm not sure, but it might be slightly stronger than Tuxedo. I think that if you enjoy vanillic scents, then you might enjoy this. If you usually enjoy vanillic and woody scents that are quite ambery, then you will most likely enjoy this. However, there is rose in this fragrance. So there's a floral aspect to it. And like I previously described, this has rose in it, but I don't think the rose is overly floral in a sense. And I don't think the rose is too intense or too prominent. I really like that aspect of it. I really enjoy the contrast it brings to the whole composition. But if you are super sensitive to florals in fragrances, then definitely stay away. With that said, I do feel that this is a fragrance pretty much any man should try. So when it comes to alternatives, pretty easy. The main alternative and pretty much the only one I'm gonna bring up in this video at least is Tuxedo. They are not 100% the same, but I do agree with everyone who has commented on previous videos in that mustache is definitely super strong tuxedo vibes. So let's talk about price and this is absolutely crazy. Now I bought this on sale and I paid about 28 bucks for 75 mil which is absolutely insane considering how 
well blended this is and how fantastic it smells like. So here are my sort of final thoughts of my first impressions of Roca's mustache. This is an absolutely gorgeous mess fragrance with an incredibly low price. And I agree with every single one of you who commented on my previous videos in that this has strong tuxedo vibes. So basically, if you ever smell tuxedo and loved it and want a not identical version of it, but with strong tuxedo vibes, then this is definitely a great fragrance. This smells absolutely gorgeous and I have no idea why it took me that long to buy my first bottle of mustache. This is most likely going to be something I spray on when I want tuxedo vibes but with a twist to it. How do you feel about Rojas mustache? Is it a like, is it a dislike? And how do you feel this one compares to Tuxedo? Do you feel that this is super close to Tuxedo or do you feel there's a difference? This is definitely going to be my fragrance of the day. Please drop a like on this video, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe, make sure you check out the videos over there and I'll see you in the next one.